So let us move on to this uh, brand. First, let us see the products that these people are giving. Of course, loans, deposit, and other banking. Now, here we have the loans here. What type of loans we have? Realer loans, MSME, small enterprise loan, micro loans. Agriculture loan and there will be government schools. Basically, what we have done, my organization has some the application. This is not the bank for which it is done, it's another bank. Basically, we have some government schools also. Okay, some government schemes are also there. Let me give you this. Now, what you are finding here, this is a Website need to be improved for them first. Okay. Now, what we have some government uh, some uh, names of the loans, microfinance loans. Some will be falling under government scheme. Some will be like your Mudra, your Ukibwakra, your Mudra, your Dokra. Okay. Like this, sir. Uh, with the with the sixty something loan is there. Okay. So all these are what schemes. The schemes. Okay. The schemes which they will be giving. Now. Let's find out the list of no agriculture loans. Let me give you Sorry, yeah, let's me. Basically, the project goes like this. First, we had a branches. We had a first we had a products in the microfinance this application. They are maintaining the information about the products. Okay. Small scale industry loan. Small scale industry loan. Group loan. Individual loan. So this is all about not your Government, okay, not your regular operation, these are only related to small finances where amounts will be collected in terms of weeks, months, or days. Now they have frequency with okay, every week payment, every okay, every 15 days payment, monthly payment, quarterly payment. The scheme will be it's not like your regular, regular loan procedures, it's a microfinance, small scale industry loans, group loans, individual loans, group scheme, okay, government schemes. So they have different products. So we are supposed to, we had a product object in which we are storing the list of products what we have. So what is the product? Product name, product code, okay, rate of interest, what is the product name, product code, and we are going to have, okay, interest, interest, they will be having flat interest or variant interest. 
very interesting. Based on this, we will be calculating the EMI sheet also, transaction sheet also. Now let us say when I have taken when I have taken one lakh rupees, when I told flat interest rate of ten percent, okay, flat interest rate of ten percent, then you get the interest rate. Now we keep paying the money, but the interest rate will be. Now you are paying a money ten thousand per month, but the interest is fixed. So you are make monthly making a payment of monthly you are making a payment of eleven thousand. Okay. So it's a principal amount. Principal amount minus principal amount plus your rate of interest. This is called flatter interest. Now variant interest you will be taking ten lakh rupees. Sir. Now the interest will be varying. I told twelve percent, twelve hundred. Okay. Then you made a ten thousand payment. So it's a what was that? So the interest keep decreasing. So it is a variant. So on the principal, as the principal reduces, the interest will be reduced. So there will be two types. So what is the product and the type of what is the products and the type of the interest that they are charging on the product? Is it a flat or is it a variant? Some of the government schemes have a variant. Some of the government schemes have a flat. Some of the like depends upon the products what they have. They can go with this. Okay. So like this, they will be having the. They will be having the story. So name of the product, category of the product, product family of the product. Okay, is it a industrial loan, small scale industrial loan? Is it a education loan or is it a okay small scale edu education? Maybe up to five lakhs. They don't give loan more than five lakhs. Only for industries they will be giving a loan of fifty lakh rupees. Other than this complete system, maximum loan they can give is fifty lakhs. To the all together, like uh, the maximum loan. That they can sanction to the industries is fifty lakhs. Rest all the loans are going to be one lakh loan, two lakh loan, fifty thousand, thirty thousand. These are very small scale loans. Okay, very small scale loans. An agricultural loan of fifty thousand rupees, forty thousand rupees, where the payments will be made seasonally or quarterly or okay monthly basis or weekly basis. Okay, now this type of products are there. Once they have products, once they enter the products, then they have branches. State wise branch branches. So they have branch name, branch code, branch name, branch code, and the other things. Now in the Branch we have area wise. Branch area area code. This is like a mandal levels. This is like a mandal level. For six seven villages there will be one area. Okay. Then we have meeting centers. Then we have meeting centers. These meeting centers can be any government organization, panchayat office, any one of the location in the village. Where the people can accumulate and submit their forms. That may be a school, that may be okay, a government panchayat office, or there can be anything that villages can meet up, okay, to communicate. So we have a branch, area, and meeting center. Branch is for district, area. Now area, like what we have under this area, area there will be six or seven uh, villages will be covered. In each village, there will be a meeting center. In the village, there will be a meeting center. Okay. So basically, branch, area, meeting center. For area, we'll be having agents. Right. Now, look at the point. Then once it is done, we are going for next one. Customer enrollment. Now, when you are going for a customer enrollment, customer enrollment, group enrollment, 
customer enrollment, group enrollment. Now customers will go there and submit their application form. Now when they submit the application form, depends upon the category of the loan, they'll be collecting the data. Depends upon the category of the loan, they'll be collecting the data. If you are going for a small scale industry, your credit, credit score will be taken. You are going with a group five, okay, if you are going for a, okay. So look at this point. The story is like this. Customer, once the customer application form is submitted, then email will be sent to the customer. Email, if he approves the email, approves it. This is for the people who are taking a individual loans, okay, education loans and other, other, other stuff. Now for other people, there will be a branch center where they have to give some impression and approve it. For agriculture, okay, so government schemes, sir. Government schemes, they have to go to the corresponding centers, they have to give a thumb impression to get their customer enrollment success. Okay. For other industrial people, the email will be sent with a link. They have to click the link, they automatically we get a response and customer verified the data. Then group. Then what happened here? Group. Group contains the customers. The group contains customers. Who are the customers are there? They can form a teams. They can form a teams. So this basic story product branch area meeting center customer this story is clear right now what is involved we are involving creation of meeting centers involving creation of areas involving creation of customers involving creation of groups we require a visual force pages for all this meeting center i need a page where i can create a meeting center now customer i need a page to create a customer because standard pages are customized it is a customer is an account object customer is an account object Customer is an account object, right, which is converted into customer. Now we have some custom fields also. The page is modified as per our requirement. Okay. Now look at the story. I'll come back to the basic flow here. Now it goes like this. First, I'm going for application. I will go for application. When you go for application, they will ask you the information, is it individual or group? Is it individual application or a group application? Now this application internally we are calling as operation. This application internally we are calling as operation. Now when you open this application, then they specify, who are the, they specify, okay. Now, as I told you, group under every meeting center, under meeting center groups will be there. So it's a village. In the village, we have uh, groups. Under the village, under the meeting centers, will be having a groups. You can create a new group. Okay, or can you choose any one of the group? Now. When you are going for application, then they ask you, which meeting center? Meeting center, who is the agent? Who is the marketing agent? Okay, if it is a group, select the group name. Because you selected a group loan, the group number you have to choose it. Then other data, when you give it, then what happened? Applied amount. Upload amount. Now, when you go for this, you get the individual customer. Group number one. What is the up amount? Group okay. Let me give the story like this. Ravi is a group member. Kiran, group member. Then upload amount. Now, what is the cycle of this? The group member, he may be part of another group also. Now, what is the total eligible amount for this member? What is the total eligible amount for this member? In how many groups he has been a member? What is the balance amount we can sanction him? What is the balance amount we can sanction him? That we will be trying to make it. Primary, okay, applicant, co-applicants, group, the group, primary applicants, co-applicants, the data will be. The group, one will be, one will be the primary applicant, the one will be the group members. Now, based on their profiles, based on the cycle, based on their okay, cycle of payments, now how much they are eligible, okay, what schemes they are eligible, 
for total what is the amount they are eligible what is the amount that is already they have availed what is the balance amount that is available because the government schemes they say maximum 60000 per cycle 60000 per cycle means whatever the loans you take internally all the government schemes all together it's only 60000 what you can avail at a time is only 60000 what you can avail at a time the cycle depends sir if it is agriculture the two cycles if it is other one three cycles okay dwakra monthly cycle they have the cycles here now depends upon the loans what they have taken in each loan depends upon the category what type of cycle they have got to follow in that what is the amount he has taken then what is the balance amount we can sanction like that they will be verified what is the total applied loan is 50000 is the applied loan they want to make a tailoring unit they want to start a tailoring unit okay they require a 50000 rupees for enhancing the the tailoring unit so based on their profiles they will sanction primary applicant on your name we are giving 20000 15000 Like this, sir. application we are going to create. Once this application is created, okay, who is going to enter this data? Who is going to enter this data? Now, the agent will collect this data. Agent will collect this data and they will submit the data to the okay, area. There, the executive will be entering all this data. Once the executive enter all this data, the confirmation should be given from those people. Now, there are two types of confirmation. Now, if the villages, the people can okay, get an email verification sorry sms verification where the otp number has to be submitted for the verification once it is submitted then the data is correct okay then there will be submitted for approval process then it will be submitted for approval process once it is submitted for approval process once it is approved then the loan dispersed now loan how the amount will be dispersed now there are three ways one is cash other one is check other one is the account mostly all the government scheme amounts will be transferred to the sbi accounts Okay, they will be transferred to the SBI accounts or any specific account. Okay, saving banking account, any one of the saving banking account of the customer should be transferred. So, one is cash, other one is check, third one is so. So, it is submitted for approval. Once it is submitted for approval, then once it is submitted for approval, then loan disbursement. The loan disbursement will be finding out how it is disbursed, what is the amount that is sanctioned to which individual you are dispersing, how much by cash or by check or so. If it is by cash, who is the concerned okay branch branch okay branch agent who is concerned branch agent and we need to take the concerned documents uploading so when you are applying for a loan then the agent will come to you they will collect your data okay the agent will come to you you will collect your data you will enter all the data then you will collect your documents it will be submitted to the corresponding okay data entry operator in the bank then he is going to upload all your documents once all your documents are uploaded then the verification code will be sent to you then you have to submit the verification code within 48 hours. Within 48 hours, you can come back and submit the verification code. If you come back to the bank or agent and submit that verification code, then your loan is processed, application is processed, then it will be submitted for approval. Once it is submitted for approval, then notifications, then we are going to get loan disbursement. Loan disbursement, as I told you, is a check or cash or so. If it is by cash, then who is the government authority to whom you are issuing? Now, you cannot issue the cash directly to the person. You are supposed to issue to the government authority or the branch uh, or the meeting center head. Okay. The, as I told you, meeting centers are any one of the government running organizations. That may be panchayat office or that may be government school or that may be anything depends upon the availability of the, okay, any availability of the centers in the villages. Now, the concern authority, whoever is there, the amount will be dispersed to those states. Checks also will be dispersed to those guys. You need to dispatch it and take a thumb impression and upload the documents. Okay. Accounts that will be directly transferred to the accounts. Okay. So, all this is a similar type of banking operation but not, not exactly banking operation. Okay. Then, when you are applying for an application, then they will be giving. What is the frequency? Frequency. Frequency. As per this loan, what are the loan? What is the scheme? What is the loan? Is it a weekly weekly collection, monthly collection, or so also? Then you require a agent, you require agent collection or not. Agent collection means I told this is a drop loan. Now they will not go to bank and pay. The agents has to come and collect on a weekly basis. So it is agent collection. It is an agent collection. So they want to pay agent. No, I don't want agent collection, we'll be paying back directly to the banks. Now it depends upon the format. So, if agent collection, who is that agent? How much? So, every time you make a payment, we need to take an acknowledgements. 
Our acknowledgement should be appropriate to the okay. Acknowledgement should be appropriate to the bags. Right? It's it runs like a is it is a what is it? It's like a small uh, microfinance associated with the village levels or small scale industries. Right, boss? I hope you got the story that we give you. Once again, I'll give you from the beginning. We are the first product object. Products we got. Products, interest, frequency, and intervals. Then we have first branches. Another branch we had area. Another area we have meeting centers. Meeting center. Branch area meeting center. Branch area meeting center. Branch creation, area creation, meeting center. Now all those things require approvals, right? All those things require approvals, right? So meeting center, new meeting center is okay. Proposal for the creation of new meeting center. Meeting center is created, that should be approved. Creation of area that should be approved. Now we require a pages. All these are what? Custom objects. Branch is a custom object, area is a custom object, middle center is a custom object. We have created a custom visual force pages for creating the data. Branch code, area code, meeting center code, and who is the head of the meeting center? Okay, then under the meeting center, again we have groups. Again, group is also one of the custom object. Group is also one of the custom object. So what are the custom objects we had? Branch, area, meeting center, groups. Under the meeting center, how many groups are there? Under the meeting center, how many groups are there? Then this is a basic information. Then how the application is processed? First we are creating a customer. We are creating a customer enrollment. Customer enrollment. Which is a good record. Once customer is approved, then we are going to create application. Application we are calling as right. This application will be categorized into two types: individual application or individual application or group application. Now, this is a individual Now, when you say group loan, what is the name of the loan? How, okay, what type of scheme you are taking? What is the meeting center? When you say this, you need to tell meeting center details Area code, meeting center code, then which scheme you are taking? Which scheme? What is your group? Group, who are the members of the group? Number one, number two, number two. Then what is the applied amount? How the amount is dispersed? When they say applied amount is 60,000, as per the group, as per the eligibility, they sanction it. 30,000 on this guy name. Now, now, once they apply for the application, when they create an application, then associated documents should be submitted. Your KYC documents or whatever it is. When they are submitted, then they verify your eligibilities, then it should be approved. Once the application is approved, once the application is approved, now what happened here? When you create a group members application, when you create it, they will be creating like a multiple application. Number one, application one, number two, application two, number three, application. Every member will become an individual application. We create a group loan, we enter all the data, 
but when you create integrally what happened multiple opportunities are getting created multiple opportunities will be created the form is a single page but when you enter multiple applications if it is an individual loan one apply one opportunity if it is a multiple multiple opportunity multiple opportunity multiple application now the loan is sanctioned for a group but it is individual holds the responsibility of paying back that's the reason they check the eligibility of every individual and the person amount so m1 number 1 he got 30000 opportunity of application number application number xyz group number so and so okay for the group loan application number for group in the group number 1 opportunity 30000 so applications are created on the individual names group application group name under the group name we have multiple application so application number is going to be different for this as a group they sanction it okay but then there will be what members okay then application is approved loan disbursement then here they have credit track credit history now the complete transaction what are the loans they have taken how much okay when they have made a payment what are the late fees what are the charges that their history will be there in this one then payment track that is going to be payment so what are the payments received that will be received through bank received through check received through agent received through agent that should be automatically when you make a payment customer eligibility 60000 rupees customer eligibility 60000 rupees he has taken three loans 1 2 3 he made a payment of 5000 rupees then customer eligibility okay 60000 rupees is the eligibility he has taken 60000 loan now available credit is zero available credit is zero when you make a 5000 available credit is 5000 loan he has taken is 55000 now based on the available credit only new loan will be approved now as per the as per the scheme that you follow that as per your as per your eligibility as per your eligibility eligibility means not your your credit card pan card number all this store there is a village village level micro financing okay as per their government schemes which are applied they have some eligibility score as per their eligibilities will be given 60000 rupees as per your eligibility you are given 1 lakh rupees maybe cash based maybe education based maybe other based your eligibility is calculated so your eligibility is 60000 rupees now what are the loans you are taking the maximum fine, micro finance we can give is 60000 a simple story i can tell you now the same thing it has got durable loans when you are going to purchase a washing machine or freezer they give a finance right then what is the format that again this that's also micro finance now this is i told you at village levels now when you go to shopping malls when you purchase a product they give emi that's also what that's also what micro finance is going the micro finance what they are giving 60000 loan to you 50000 loan to you they are giving you so what happen they take your application form customer enrollment then the otp will be sent to you you will verify the otp then then your credit will be automatically calculated the moment you enter based on your credit card based on your pan card number based on okay job based on properties that you own they calculate the score they say boss you are eligible for 60000 rupees you can purchase any product now what i have taken i have taken a tv 40000 rupees i have taken a, i have taken a some okay speakers 5000 rupees now what is it opportunity one opportunity application one for purchasing tv application two for purchasing speaker okay what is my eligibility 60000 rupees is my eligibility 60000 is my eligibility you have applied for two you applied two application one application for purchasing the tv another application for purchasing the speaker third one i want to purchase a laptop now the laptop cost is 40000 rupees but you are eligible for only 25000 so what is the loan they can give you 25000 so they will check your eligibility then they start giving it's a micro finance the extension of this this is for only i am speaking in terms of government schemes so the other part of this is durable loans durable okay the other part is durable loans what what we what i discussed now they will have what branch area now hyderabad branch area okay hyderabad branch area amripet now in amripet Saudhiri Shopping Mall, one media center. Other one. Okay. Let me. This basic story is clear. I'll come back to the story. Is, is that basic story is clear? Okay. Now let me give you the way you understand. Let me give it. Now this is a 
this bank is also giving basic home okay what we call durable loan right what is it what we call the loans what, what they give for purchasing the furniture and all this what is the term they use when you go to purchase a tv or washing machine they give some loans no what is that loan called right i am not sure about it okay this personal loans that's not personal loan that's there is a term living living standard or durable loan or something they call it okay so now look at the story branch in the branch i have area in the area i have taken let's say hyderabad in the hyderabad meeting centers in our bit mall bazaar electronics some tmc no they give some furniture now what is this and they are also giving vehicle they are also giving vehicle loans when they also want to give a vehicle loans again what they they have vehicle loans again at every showroom they open it now like this they have now what happened in this case look at the story now branch area meeting centers now those people are staying in the inner bit mall in one of the showroom when you go there and purchase they say we give you a loan consumer loan okay consumer loans they told, they say we are giving a consumer loans they say we are giving a consumer loans so this is the meeting center when i go there and i purchase a let us say a tv they say boss don't pay by cash okay we'll give you consumer loans then what happened they take an application customer enrollment i'll show the screenshots also customer enrollment what is the enrollment is done based on your history education and properties they give a score based on the score they calculate based on the score they calculate eligibility now sanction amount they give eligibility calculate the eligibility what is the calculate the eligibility so so customer 1 lakh is your eligibility right so customer is created eligibility is created so first branch creation area creation meeting center creation branch creation area creation meeting center creation okay now the next application now you are giving an application what is the application boss i want to purchase a laptop from where product what you are purchasing laptop from let us say in our bit mall the meeting center is in our bit mall branch is hyderabad now the loan i am looking for is 50 crore when you submit it then they check your eligibility are you eligible for the loan or not now what is the customer eligibility 1 lakh available limit 1 lakh jobs now check your eligibility you are eligible for one lakh your application is approved is submitted your concerned manager is going to approve it then application is approved application is approved when application is approved you get a notification then disbursement of amount how the amount is disbursed amount is not disbursed to you amount is disbursed to the corresponding vendor to which you are associate now your amount is disbursed to your meeting center then we some other thing right now you are purchasing a product from source company now the amount should be dispersed to the meeting center accounts not your not your customer now amount disbursement then the amount is getting dispersed to the corresponding meeting center account numbers right then once you have made then the customer data will be modified now the available amount 50000 due amount is 50000 then credit tracking 
the credit tracking you are told you have taken loan one of 50000 rupees then your transaction on this payment made first payment made on so and so date 10000 second payment made 10000 or 11000 or 200 okay 12000 the 2000 is a fine for you second loan what you have taken this is what your your loans what you have taken and the payments what you made the history will be visible here loans what you have taken and the payments what you made the history will be taken here so payment payments the payments whatever the payments you made that writing should be done so basically what is this branch area branch area branch area meeting center customer enrollment application form then credit tracking and payment tracking right this, this is the story what we are going to get people are not convinced is the flow was clear right okay so this is only to put as a second or third project so i am just giving you a flow of it because we are, we are not going to put this as a primary whatever i discussed in the last three days that should be your primary project this is only the secondary and third one just to tell you the basic idea okay then what are the implementation that you have done in this so let us look at the few implementations what you have done on this now let us stay, go with a triggers now roll upon application this application was taking a custom object application to customer let us make the application to customer then application to customer what was that okay now they want to sum up in a meeting center look at this they want to roll up how many applications are received for the meeting center whenever any application is received they want to sum up these two meeting center so in the meeting center when applications are received total number of applications that are received for the meeting center this is a roll up summary applied on the meeting center from the application for one application meeting center is the parent and application is the chain so they want to create a roll up summary of number of applications received on the meeting center so this is a roll up summary roll up summary on meeting center. but where is the data uploaded meeting center in the meeting center we are rolling up number of applications that have come from this meeting center because the data will be uploaded by agent agent so what was this number of number of number of applications received from the meeting center so what is this happening after insert after delete whenever an application is created add it to the meeting center count increase the count by in the meeting center whenever the application is deleted decrease the count so they had an application to customer application is received application to customer they made it okay this is a trigger which is saying roll up summary summarize the number of applications received whenever the application is created increment the count on the meeting center whenever the application is deleted dec okay, decrease the count on the meeting center this is the trigger then they are lookup they are lookups they are lookups if there if there if there is a master detail relation then they will not create a trigger to make a roll up summary no if they are creating a trigger obviously it is a lookup relation okay next then let us go to the next one here we have opportunity detached open it so what is this uh, after this this is app object let me move update opportunity status demand list was object yet let me check out okay now this is a demand list look at the point where was the data what, what is the data that is happening look at this opportunity object so this is with respect to this is with respect to the applications now what are the opportunities we received what are the opportunities we received update on demand list after insert and after update let me give you 
opportunity based on the opportunity they're pulling the data status dispersed in collection true they're updating the opportunity data whenever the demand list is created we don't have a demand list object actually whenever the demand list is created automatically the status of the opportunity is made as dispersed the amount is dispersed from the opportunity you told like uh, application is given you told like uh, application application to customer customer to opportunity okay opportunity amount okay once it is approved amount should be dispersed so they have created this so when the amount is dispersed automatically the opportunity status should be given as amount is dispersed opportunity is created when it is approved then dispersed disbursement of amount will be done when the disbursement of amount is done coming back to the opportunity and updating the status call this opportunity amount is dispersed okay this is one of the trigger they are writing i hope you got the story when you apply for a loan apply for a loan opportunity is created and it is sent for approval when it is approved status is okay approved status is approved right then the initiation of disbursement of amount will be done when the loan disbursement of amount is done when the amount is dispersed to the corresponding okay customer then automatically they say amount dispersed then when the customer uh, whenever the amount is dispersed trigger will be fired automatically which will be keeping the status of the opportunity as dispersed first when you create approved pending approved amount is dispersed whenever the amount is dispersed to the customer automatically the status of the opportunity is modified as dispersed right looking at the trigger we are able to understand what it is what was this creation of meeting center okay whenever the meeting center data is modified the corresponding opportunity data also should be modified whenever the meeting center data is modified we are auto auto automatically modifying the information about the customers meeting center now the group belongs to particular meeting center the group belongs to particular meeting center whenever the meeting center is removed we got a meeting center we are not getting any proposals from the meeting center we remove it then this members will be associated with the other meeting center now in the village one i have two groups okay down the line they are not taking any loans okay then the percentage will decrease they are not taking the loans okay initially there are 10 groups i kept a meeting center let it as move to only two now they merged this meeting center with another meeting center then what happened the groups meeting center data should be updated what are the opportunities that are associated they also should be updated to new meeting center that's what one or a new meeting center is created no issue okay notify when our the existing meeting center is modified the data should be modified on the group information customer information opportunity information when our the meeting center is deleted okay they should be associated with any one of the other meeting center that's what they are trying to say so when new meeting center is created or when the existing meeting center is modified or existing meeting center is deleted we should uh, okay update to the corresponding customers group information and the opportunity information right now roll up count this is what previously we have done okay previously we have done previously we have done count of number of application here they are giving a count of number of meeting centers count of number of meeting centers and count of number of application received from the meeting center should be roll up to branch now we have now roll up of count of number of meeting centers so whenever the applications are created or updated what we are supposed to do we are meeting center is holding number of application similarly area wise roll up summary similarly branch wise roll up summary now the roll up summary is what application to meeting centers meeting centers to area area to branches that the trigger is payment time date one more trigger what was this right so is a automated system automated system which will be generating the payment date now structure week 1 week 2 i told you structure no like 10000 week 1 you have to pay 200 rupees week 2 you have to pay 300 rupees week 4 the structure should be auto generated now whenever the application is approved automatically your transaction payment should be created because it's a weekly payment now in week 1 how much you have to pay what will be the due amount week 2 Generally, when you take a loan, you get a structure, right? 
total loan you have taken 10 lakhs first month this is a due of pending amount this is what you are paid the structure should be auto created for creation of it now rejection module from application your application rejected check the groups grade score rejection if application is rejected what is the action you want to do if the application is rejected what is the action so whenever the application is rejected what is the action opportunity count on meeting center so the total amount of opportunities that was brought by meeting center delete on opportunity okay so if you look at this figure sir i'll give you quick analysis that directly visible here i'll give you the quick count here which you can understand or very easy to meter application when our new application based on when our right so to give you proper story few things basically which are easy for us when application is created roll up to the meeting center when our application is approved this meeting center has got total how many how much amount of opportunity meeting center wise how many opportunities you brought area wise how many opportunities you brought area wise how many applications you brought that roll up summaries which we are very really easy to convey it. if they ask you to convey one or two scenarios which you have implemented right so right box so 
So what was it? These are the, some of the scenarios which we can convey. Technically, what did you do? Because it's a second or third project in case they ask you also. What is that? Based on the application, we'll roll up the count in the meeting center. Based on the application status, we'll roll up the amount on the meeting center. Based on the whenever the meeting center is modified, automatically area wise updated. Where was the area was updated? The top one is updated. I hope you are good with this. Right? Can you explain the basic flow? What we had discussed? Products, we had a, a okay, branches, areas, meeting center, then they go for applications, okay, application, customer creation, then operation creation. Operation creation, okay. You can say customer or application, anyone, because frequently they are using the terms. Client. Right. Then first we are going to create a client, customer we are going to create. Once we create a customer, then we are going to create an application. Application is going to be what? Once application, all the documents are submitted to the application, we make it as a we make it as an opportunity. Application to opportunity. Application to opportunity. If all the documents are submitted, then it will convert into opportunity. Then opportunity is approved or dispersed. Opportunity mode is approved or dispersed. Let us make this story. Client, client to application, application to opportunity, opportunity approved, rejected or dispersed. Then, what is it? Payment tracking, the uh, sheet will be created. Auto generation of the sheet, then when you make a payment, they, they automatically enable the payment is received. If not, automatically they disable the option and you will be getting a no alert for this. Am I right? Right, I am just trying to make it simple instead of getting into too much of technical. Right boss, fine, can you convey it, right, yes or no, okay. So I will try to draft a small story on it, I will share it like what I have given you for the first project, I will try to draft a small story on it, just follow the structure, okay. The same objects I am going to use but I will organize like a uh, table, I will organize like a table and give you the scenario, uh, two, three scenarios that are available, you can go through it for keeping on the sheet. Right? So that's all for mine.